Hello people, yes I'm back once again as usual to bring you yet another demo disc and now I'm actually going to go back and sort of play the discs that I used to own as a kid or at least you know from around the time that you know I used to get these discs. I mean I skipped out on a couple of them but um, I'm just going to include them anyway just to say that I've looked at them. And this is the first one that I can remember owning. I think, in fact, I think this was the first one I got. So this is, uh, yeah, the official PlayStation magazine. Demo Disc number 11, volume 2, uh, released in January 1998. Because uh, I got my PlayStation back in, like, Christmas 1997, so, yeah. And, as you can see, uh, not really that great of an interface. I mean, <laughs> I mean, seriously, Comic Sans. I mean, seriously, who decided that? And this background, yeah, I don't think we've seen this before, but it appears quite a lot on these earlier discs. And it's alright, but yeah. Anyway, if we see if we see what we've got on this, we've got Courier Crisis, Frogger, Grand Theft Auto, Pandemonium 2, yes. Power Soccer 2, that sounds painful. Net Your Aussie advert and Dog Tail, which I think is a Net Your Aussie game. So, yes, Career Crisis. So, let's see what this is, because I don't remember this one. And, uh, yeah, really awesome loading screen on this one. The same, uh, yeah, the same one that appeared on that, you know, that sampler thing that I played. Yeah, which looks pretty awesome. So, is this new level software. Yeah, some new <laughs> from like 1998. I mean, ooh, this is lagging. No, oh, the hell. It's ridiculous. Okay, let me turn. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's already brilliant. Okay, then. Okay, what, no, what, the, what the hell do I get? I just ran some random guy and I got something. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, this is already a classic game. I mean, I don't even know how to. Right. Ooh. Actually, yep, you know, I'm gonna say that arrow on the top right or top left or whatever. It reminds me of a crazy tactic and jump. Yeah. See if I can jump over. Okay. So I'm responsible for the arrow, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And now there's some dogs apparently. Uh let me slow down. Uh let me no, let me get to the No! Let me get to the stupid woman. Okay, how do you attack? Because... Oh, okay, so apparently you can kick with the R... with R2. I oh, no, does L2 do that as well? I have no idea. I mean, this is... It's confusing! Yeah, eat this. <laughs> what the hell's going on with the graphics? I mean, like... I mean, I would say this is like... It's like a virtual console, but it's like... Okay, I'm actually getting somewhere, actually, which is pretty awesome, but... Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I mean... Uh... <laughs> uh okay, we start sure. I'm pressing the square button. To... Okay. And... <laughs> okay, so apparently it says you can restart, but you can't. That's just... You know what, sod it. I don't really understand that game. Uh, it... That was kind of weird. But, uh... Yeah, Frogger. Presumably not the arcade version, because that'd be kind of weird to have on a demo. Uh, I don't have this game. In fact, no, the only games I've got on this are GTA and... Uh... Actually, no, that's it. I, I mean, I've been meaning to get Pandemonium 2, but I don't actually own the game. Yeah. Frogger. Yeah. Ar yeah. Got the arcade version right here. Oh. And... Okay. There was Frogger, and then there's like a billion vans or something. Or trucks, I guess, or whatever. No! You must run before you get to squash by the tires and. Uh, oh, okay. And now all of a sudden he's on like a pillar or something. Okay, I don't get this. Okay. So let's, let's start this, shall we? Uh. Yeah, start. <laughs> Why wouldn't I start? Uh, so what have we got here? Okay, Lily Islands, okay. 
Or it's like a puzzle game or something, I don't know. Uh, okay. 60. Accounting. Okay. So, am I supposed to get to the other side or something? I don't really know. Uh, whoa! The <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Okay, so you gotta jump on the logs. I jump on the logs and. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, circle doesn't do anything. Okay, square. And. Oh. Okay, apparently I can't jump the gap. Brilliant. Let's try this again. Hopefully the, the ones I, like, stay eaten or something. Oh, okay, you can move around on the start area. I'll try that again when I inevitably die again. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm sure, yeah, I definitely, I do remember playing this, actually. Or well, the, yeah, the demo, not the full game. I never owned the full game. Uh, so, let me guess, should I try to, okay, so, okay, that works. Let's see, so if I can do around here, or... I guess not, because it doesn't really seem to do anything. Get me onto that log. Okay, why is the camera different now? I don't get this. Oh, kind of missed. Probably. Let's try this again. Okay. Uh, no, what the... I don't want to go that way. There's flies, because flies are twats, and they should just really all be eaten. But the frogs! So, oh, wait, let me eat this. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Okay, give me to the... Yeah. Ooh. Is that superior jumping power right there? Oh, and I died. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I just saw there's like a little frog there. Is that where I'm supposed to go, I guess? Let's try that. So where the hell do these logs show up? Okay, get me on the turtle. Oh, oh, come on, I made that. <laughs> Brilliant. Now I've got to wait another half an hour for a log to arrive. This, yeah. Yeah. Hopping around impatiently here. Yeah. Actually, no. Okay, so I made it that time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I made it. Uh, ooh. Okay. Actually, this might help. Yeah, give me to the frog. Yeah, did I win, I guess? Okay, I guess I did, because it ended. Uh, oh, okay, so, oh, okay, so it's, yeah, just like the arcade game, you gotta, like, do it another four times in order to win. I assume that's how this works. Seems to be how it works. I mean, I've played the arcade game before, so... Yeah, let's try to make the camera this way so that way I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh! Oh! Intense this is. And I'm dead. <laughs> Great. So I guess that's it. Yeah, okay. Load in. But now we get to, uh, now we get to the really good games, I think. We look at what games are on this. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Yes, the original one. Before they went all 3D and, you know, awesome and shit. I mean, well, actually, that's kind of been a bit unfair on the first couple of games. Because the first couple of games are really good. Um, and the second one is definitely better, I think. But, you know. Uh, I definitely have to say the 3D games were just... I don't know, this is the sort of game that was really made for 3D, pretty much. Because, I mean, really, you could pair, like, GTA V to this. Or, I mean, GDA 3 to this game. I mean, it's just, it's way better. Um, because it, it just, I don't know, it just, it's just really, it's a lot more refined. Uh, <laughs> Hot Butch T's version, what? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, 
Oblivion. Music Let's go for radio, why not? You game... Uh, oh, okay, you can't select your character in this one. So I'm presuming it's just going to be the... Uh, what the fuck was it called? You have that... Liberty City, that's it. <laughs> I was trying to think, what's the game where... What's like place you in GTA 3? Uh, yeah, Liberty City. Actually, what's funny is I've never actually, I've never actually played Liberty City Stories. I've been meaning to get that on the PS2, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll get it pretty soon, I don't know. Because I got, I got Voice City Stories pretty recently. So I really wanted to get that game. But uh, I didn't get it back in the day. Or, you know, well, I say back in the day. <laughs> it's like 2007. But, uh, you know, I didn't get it back then because, I mean, there wasn't a PC version. So I was like, you know, sod it. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got how the controls work in this one. The controls are kind of... It's weird. It's like you have to press triangle to, like, reverse. Um, I'm used to being, like, square. But, uh, let's do this. You want some dirt? Okay, give it to the truck. I mean, I, I'm guessing there's a time limit on this. Because I seem to remember the worst. I mean, I can't imagine they'd actually let you play the whole level for as long as you want to. That'd just be... It would be weird for a demo to let you actually do that. It's only the amount of stuff you can do in this game. I don't see a time limit, though. So let me get... Oh, okay, the music's still playing. That's kind of weird. I set the thing to radio. Uh, actually, no. I don't... Oh, I don't want to get in there. Let me... Let me get this. Fucking pick up the choice. Get a jail free card, that sounds useful. And, uh. Run over this guy, because I need the points. But, okay, I don't. But, uh. It'd be nice to have them. Okay. Oh, driving the truck's really awkward in this. Yeah, get out of my way. I'm a radical backer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Maneuver my way around this. <laughs> in the mean streets of Liberty. Nation, steal what's good, run from the nation. <laughs> uh, the music in this is classic. I really love the, the music in this game. It's like before they just basically like getting licensed music for the whole soundtrack. Which, I mean, granted, I like the soundtracks in the later games, like all the licensed music and stuff. Apart from GTA 4, though. I mean, GTA 4 soundtrack, I, I didn't really care for. No, let me... No, why is the reverse on the sock? And I'm dead. Actually, I'm not sure. Did I beat the mission? Because... I didn't say I'll lose, this, so... Okay. So, okay, so I didn't fail the mission, which is funny, because... I mean, it's like in like in the uh, the later games. It's like if you die, you just like fail the mission, basically. Which it made it make sense. Um, so it's kind of annoying though. You know, when you get like near the end of the level, it's just you die and then you got to redo the whole thing. Oh, let me get the yeah machine gun. Uh, oh, okay. So I actually beat. Oh, okay. No, I. Failed the mission, great. Why don't I get money then, though? Seems weird that you get money for, like, failing the mission. I don't really get that. Uh, get better. F nah, stop that. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna goof off for a bit. Because, I mean, I, again, like I said, I'm pretty sure this demo is a time limit. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna mess around for the next... I don't know, five minutes or however long I get to play this for. I don't know. But I think you can play... I think I think you can actually access the whole level. If I remember correctly. But I don't remember... Because there's a bridge that I want to get up to. Where you, like, jump over it. Because it's, like, half built. But I don't remember where it is. And I think I'm in the wrong place. Because it says... Hack and slash. I don't think that's where I want to be. Boom. Funny many people I've run over and yet the police aren't even going after me. I mean, granted, it's only like three people, but you know, normally very one person would get you in prison. But again, this isn't real life, so sod it. Uh, yo, get in my way, stupid boss! I want to get the, I want to get the crates. 
Oh sh! What, what the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay, so I won the kill frenzy, even though I didn't actually do anything. That's. I'm not sure if this. I'm not sure if this demo was just bugged or, or if it, or if it's just my disc. I mean, cause like that first game, like the courier thing or whatever, like the graphics and that were completely messed up, and <laughs> now I'm like winning missions even though I'm not actually doing anything in them. It's the hell's going on? Or uh, actually, no, I think I just realised where I am. There's like an island area in this that you start off on, and I think I've managed to leave that area somehow. Uh, okay, no, this doesn't lead to it. Both Guernsey today. Guernsey. I don't want to be in Guernsey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a boom, boom, ba, da, boom. I mean, I know it's in the full game itself. Uh. Okay. Driving around, running banks all wet on the scoop snaps. What the hell's going on? <laughs> How am I winning these kill friends? It's like... Okay, I drive... It, okay, so I pick up a machine gun. It says kill frenzy and then I just win out of nowhere. It's like, what the hell's going on here? Actually, no. Am I going to have enough speed to make this jump? Let's see. No! Shoot. Ah, now I'm going to lose my weapons, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, wait, no. I spawn next to one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let me take this bike. Yeah, this game actually had motorbikes on for, um... I'm not sure what the first game that... Whoa! What? I don't remember them being this fast in the original. Uh, I certainly don't remember them being this fast. And, okay, I ran to some other guy. Great. Let's take this... Okay, I definitely don't remember the bikes being this fast in the first game. I mean, just to look at this. Actually, you know, I want to try that jump again. If I can... If I can get to it before the time expires, I might try that. West Fort Law, okay. So, no! Yeah, just like, yeah, just, actually, no. Um, Vice City had motorbikes, didn't it? No, stop falling off the bike, you idiot. I want to, oh. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot this guy to get him out of the way. Oh, okay, they don't run out of the car in this version. No, let me, no! Take the stupid bike, you idiot. Oh, I'm not gonna take the bike, I'm too good for that shit. I swear, fuck you. Okay, now we decide to get back on the bike. Yo, oh, this is way too fast. Control Schleckberg. What the hell that is? Schleckberg. No! Oh. Uh, oh, actually, no, this is a sports car, isn't it? Oh, what the... <laughs> okay, I was just rolling underneath the whole thing. That was brilliant. Yeah, because yeah, I think this is... Yeah, this is a sports car. Let me do this. I love how, even though this is a sports car, it can't go as fast as the bike. That's... <laughs> that's crazy. This is completely crazy. Actually, I'll just go, just go and kill people, because that's what this game's all about. If I can find any... Yeah, get on my way. Boom! Oh. Yeah, oh, okay, so I had to get some points. I was about to say, how come I'm not getting any points to crash into them? So I definitely remember the other games had that. I mean, like I said, I mean, GDA 2 is definitely better than this. I mean, you can see the frame rate is kind of iffy. And. Okay, there's a bus parked near the station. I don't really care. Okay. Oh, I know what to do here. Oh, I know what to do here. I know exactly what to do here. Time to die, policeman! <laughs> Why is he getting back in the car? I mean, he didn't. I mean, I know he didn't die then, so what the hell? Oh, sod it. Come after me, bitch. Yeah, I'm swearing. Okay, it's a GDA demo. What do you expect? Destroy this car. Actually, no. If I shoot it enough times with a pistol, it should destroy it. 
I wish I had a better gun at this point, a machine gun, but of course I lost it because I. Ooh! Yeah, blew it up. Get back in here. Uh, and. Okay, time down. Oh well. Uh, yeah, that was GTA. Or Grand Theft Auto, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, <laughs> it's come a long way. But, uh, Pandemonium 2. No, I definitely remember playing this demo back in the day, but I didn't actually have the full game. In fact, I still don't have the full game. I've mean to actually get that game. Uh, because, I mean, I've, you know, I got Pandemonium 1. And, like, I played Pandemonium 1 as a kid, and it was a really good game. In fact, it still is a really good game. So, yeah. You game players. Uh, do I seriously have to play Spargus? Or... Yeah. Because I don't like playing as Fargus in these games. Because yeah, I was, because like Terra now, like like I play the original game. I always pick Nikki because because yeah, you you gotta have that double jump. The double jump is like the it's like the most effective thing in this game. Because Fargus doesn't even have the double jump, so it's like I don't really get it. You know what's funny is I definitely remember being able to play as Nikki in this demo, but. I guess not. Unless I've, like, messed up somehow. But I know I've played as Nikki in this before. See, it's like... It's like, how are you supposed to get up there with Fargus? You can't. So yeah, beat this guy. I know you can, um... How do you do it? I think it's like... I know there's a way to throw, uh... The stick. What? I don't remember what it's called, like, Sid. I think it was called, if I remember correctly. But, I mean, you see that, it's completely useless, because it doesn't do any damage to the enemies. It's like, you try to hit the enemy with it, you just take damage, so it's like, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, I know I'm doing something wrong there, but still. As you can see, you got the cartwheel thing. What's a Diddy from uh, Donkey Kong Country, actually? Which, uh, yeah, Donkey Kong Country, awesome. I mean, I've got the, uh, I got the first one on the Super Nintendo. I mean, I used to, um... Bugger. <laughs> no, I didn't use the bugger. Uh, I used to have the third one on the Super Nintendo, but I don't have that anymore. Just shame. I want to get that again. But, uh. Ooh. I'm not dying here. What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> I love how the snowball just, like, disappears. That's just. Weird. I gotta figure out how to play this guy, actually. And I swear that. That sound effect, it reminds, it reminds me of, um. Was it Gex Enter the Gecko or whatever it's called? You have the second Gex game. So I used to own that game as well. I don't, uh, I want to get that game again actually, because it was a really good game, what I remember. Yeah, let me jump from here. Okay, well, I suppose playing this guy actually makes it a lot more challenging at least, so. No, let me. There we go. Uh, I'm about to die, I think, because I'm messing up really badly. <laughs> I'm playing this like a complete idiot. Yeah, uh, no, let me get the... Give me the health. Okay. I know it's a bat up here, so... I mean, I, I think it's a bat. I know what it's supposed to be. It looks like a bat, so... And I know you can throw this... Oh, you bastard. Because I know you can throw the stick somehow, but I can't remember how to do it. So... Okay, so I think it's like up and square, I think. Yeah. Oh. oh, no. Okay, no, I don't think it is. So I thought that was just like a regular tap, but it didn't seem to do anything, so I don't really get that. Yeah, I'm gonna beat this level. Go for this guy. Oh, I guess he doesn't retaliate until you. Yeah, apparently the enemy is complete twats because they don't actually attack you until you like get on the platform, which is annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to. I would like to get to the secret areas in this, but. It's like I pretty much have to play as Nicky in order to actually do that. And seeing as apparently I can't. Yeah. So I'm just gonna have to not get to the secret areas, and that sucks. I mean, there's probably a way to do it. With Fogus, but I'm pretty sure it'd be like way more difficult to actually do that. So, sod it. <laughs> there is one that I'm actually gonna try to get to anyway, because 
I remember where that is. But I don't know if I'm actually going to get to it. Let's, see, let's, try the, let's try this weapon one more time. Okay, so... Let's try a distance... Well, or I say distance. For a very slight distance it works. Okay. So if you do it when it's in point blank range, it doesn't actually work. Ha! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I guess it's the adventure of playing as this guy, but, uh, yeah. Oh, you bugger. And I'll keep on jumping. Jump into victory. Oh, oi. Oi, can I duck in this game? Oh, okay, you can, but you just wouldn't do it for some reason. Yo. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna. I think there's some health. No! Do I seriously have to jump from like a lower point in order to land on the. Great. Right. So apparently, if I jump too high, I can't actually land on that thing. Got it. Got it. I need that health, because it wasn't gonna die. Because I, I suck at playing as far as this, so. Oh yeah, now you got this. Now you can just run for everything. Well, pretty much. Can't run for these things. Oh, Now I'm stuck running the whole time. They should have called this game the Running Man. Would have made a lot more sense. Actually, couldn't be, wasn't this game called something else in Japan? Like, Miracle Jumpers or something? I, I don't remember. I know it was called, like, something else. And I don't even know... I don't think the first one even got released in Japan, but I might be wrong. Ha! Okay, so you can cartwheel into enemies, which is nice. Again, just like Donkey Kong Country. So, let me avoid this. So, oh. Okay, I thought the gun was faulty there for a second, but I guess not. Actually, for some reason, I don't know why, but the graphics remind me of, like, an N64 game I used to have called Tonic Trouble. Which... Isn't really that great of a game from what I remember. I kind of want to play it again, just uh, I don't know, just see how it, <laughs> just to see how it compares with uh, you know what I thought of it as a kid. But I don't remember it being that great. But I remember the secret area you can get up to in this bit, and I would like to get to that secret area. Uh, I don't quite remember exactly where it is, but I know it's somewhere along the slidey bit. Uh, ooh. Okay, <laughs> I was not expecting. Well, what the? Is that a glitch or something? I, I mean, <laughs> what the hell's going on? Like, so if I land on the thing, I like pass through the. Let's try that again. So look at this. I pass. So I'll go through this, and I like pass right through it. That's. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was going to walk me back to that previous area, but I guess not, because. Oh. Oh, do I not have my magic spells anymore? Guess not. Uh, ooh. Give me the health. Give me the health. Yes. Oh yeah, this is the secret area. Let me let me try to see if I can do this. I think you have to hold X down to jump higher on these things, but I'm not entirely certain. I know it works for the trampolines, but I'm not entirely sure with these things. So here we go. Bonus area. Which, uh, yeah, you just got this like lift. Collect all the coins, and I got an extra life, which I won't need, because I'm, I've nearly beaten the level anyway, so. Yeah, simple. Kind of sad you don't get a bonus for collecting all the coins, but, uh, what are you going to do? I remember, yeah, there's some spikes at the end, and they didn't hurt me, but. I'm not going to blame that on the disc, because that just normally happens anyway. <laughs> when I crash into the spikes, I don't know why. Oh, wait, no, let me get that coin. Yeah. I don't know why I wanted to get that particular one, but sod it. I'm just going to skip over this bit, because we're done. Yes, we are done with Pandemonium 2. Must have been that I'm going to get to the football game now, and then, and then I'm just going like, to score 10 goals somehow. For like some weird glitch, or... Well, <laughs> of course not, that would be... Of course not, that would be ridiculous, but uh, there you go. So after that loan screen... Oh yes, we get back to the menu... Play some Power Soccer 2. Oh, I could see this one's gonna end well. Oh, yes, I tell you what, it really is going to end well. <laughs> uh, of course not. It's like going to a dentist and saying, well, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, 
obvious sarcasm. But let's see what we got here. If the game decides to load, then we shall begin. Maybe. Uh, unless it decided to lock up. I hope it did, because that means I won't have to play it then. And that would be good, because I don't really like these football games. I mean, I'm, I'm not really a fan of football games in general, but uh, I mean, especially we like these PS1 football games. Most of them, I just don't like most of them, like, at all. And, uh oh, <laughs> I was about to say it's crashed, but no, apparently it's working. Which kind of sucks, because like I said, don't really want to play this one. Uh, probably more... Yves Lacard and Marcel Reif. Okay. Whoever they are. Well, I think Brian Moore used to do commentary on like ITV, but I haven't got a clue who the other people are. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, oh, this looks familiar. This is just like that... Um, what's that game called? Like that Adidas Power Soccer game? Okay. So I've actually got the ball. Uh, no! Well, at least I had the ball. I need to switch players in this. I don't know. So, let me sh no, I want to, oh, I wanted to shoot, but, but he just, he just decided to like, <laughs> well, great goalkeeping work right there. Yeah, I'm just going to stand here like a fucking idiot and just let the ball go in. <laughs> I mean, so what, did they hire me to be the goalkeeper? I mean, they might as well, I could probably do a better job than that idiot. Okay, let me go, the there we go. Yeah, and I get a free kick, nice. At least I think. Uh, yes I did. Yeah. So let me... Let me get a long pass right here. I want to get that long pass. Oh, you bastard. Why am I saying bastard? I don't, I don't speak like that. No, give me the ball, you stupid... He <laughs> just karate kicked the guy. Or at least he tried to. No, stop... Jumping because you're a twat. Okay, he's on the other team, therefore he's a twat. So that's what it comes down to. So long pass. No, that's not. Oh, okay. I guess it is a long pass, but it's like, why would you throw the ball that high in the air? It makes no sense. And oh, how, like, how are you even supposed to get the ball? It's like the second you get the ball, the opponent steals off you immediately. I mean, it reminds me of. Um, I swear, the way this game plays, it really it reminds me of actual soccer. By which I mean, it's like, it's virtually unplayable shite. Because you can't get the ball off the opponent. It's just impossible. And when you do, you have it for like a fraction of a second. And then it's like, the opponent just steals it off you anyway. So it's like... I mean, this is the problem with these football games. Most of them, at least most of these like PS1 football games are just, they're unplayable nowadays. I mean, seriously. I mean, it's like... Yeah, <laughs> oh, that he fouls me and he doesn't get carded or anything. Nope, we're not gonna count that as a foul, even though he didn't get the ball or anything. So, yeah, okay, so that was a foul. But uh, I mean, so, I don't get like why is it with these like earlier football games? It's like you just can't get the ball off anyone. It's ridiculous. I mean, so why change? No, I, I can't pause this. What the fuck is up with this demo? Oh, we're gonna make a demo and you can't even pause it. That's just <laughs> that's brilliant, right there. I suppose I might have a shot, but yeah, this game, terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's like it's like all these football games; they all suck. I mean, because it's like it just doesn't work. Like none of these football games are even. I mean, look at that! He just like okay, he like just clearly bum bum rushes into me. Oh, and that was a foul, even though I clearly got the ball. Yo, no, fuck it! I'm not even gonna bother playing that because I, I know I'm gonna lose anyway. So sod it. Because I swear, every, I swear to God, like, pretty much every football game on the PS1 is complete shit. Like, the only one that I've played that I can actually say I liked is uh, Euro 2000, but anyway. That's your Aussie yeah, but let's see what this is. Well, I know what this is, because, I mean, this appeared on so many of these demo discs. It's like, yeah, everyone needs to buy the Knit Your Aussie, and it's like, I mean, I would have liked to have got the Knit Your Aussie, but... I don't know. I'm not really the pro. I'm not really the sort of person that would really like to program games, though. I mean, maybe if I could be bothered to, then maybe it'd be quite good. But yeah, 
I mean, I would like to get Net Aussie just because it's like region free, so you can play like foreign games and everything. But at the same time, there's not really that many foreign games I actually want to play. I mean, there's Pepsi Man. Um, I can't really think of any of this. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of like obscure, like well, not obscure, but I know there's a lot of like RPGs that are made to Europe. But I mean, I, I know I've said it before, but I really don't like those sort of games anyway, so I'm really bothered with them. Like, I mean, I've got Final Fantasy VII, like, I tried playing it, and it's just, I don't know, I just get bored of it really quickly, it's just, whatever. <laughs> a lot of people like that game, but I'm not one of them, I'm just gonna say it right now. Like, it's not a bad game, I mean, like, Power Soccer 2 is a terrible game. Okay, I'm just gonna say it straight up, it's a terrible game, it just doesn't work. But, you know, games like that, they're not really bad, they just, I don't really care for them. Uh, Tunnel Between the Eyes, what? <laughs> Is it just called Between the Eyes? I don't really get that. But yes! So now we go... <laughs> now we go... No, we, now we get to play the Dogtail game. Actually, no. I come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I've played it before. Because I know I've played it on like... Uh... Actually, let's just start it up first. Yeah, Dogtail. I know I've played this game before. Because this was on like one of those high number discs that I played. Like, 84, I think it was, if I remember correctly. Yeah, pretty sure it was 84, actually, because I, I remember it was, like, the same demo that had, like, that Defender game. But yeah, Dogtail. It was in eight weeks. Okay, that's all the tune right here. Uh, Bates. Okay, so, jump key check. I, I don't know what that means. So... I do I put out this? Uh, okay, select. Start this up. Okay. Actually, come to think of it, I haven't actually had to reset the PlayStation, which is pretty awesome. Because usually I have to do it at least like several times in these videos, but... Oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember this game to be a pain in the ass. I didn't... You know what's funny, though, is... Even though I had this disc, I don't actually remember playing this game. Okay, let me, let me try some... Yeah, that works. I want to see if I can actually beat this, because I remember I kind of messed it up last time, but i got to say, the controls on this are really stiff, which is really what makes this game so difficult to play. Yeah, I made it. Nice. Actually, no. Please tell me there's checkpoints in this, because I don't want to have to restart the level every time I die, because that would just be a pain in the ass. Oh, got an extra life. <laughs> oh, that! I just barely made a jump and I fell through the platform. Uh, and again. Yeah, I made it. Awesome. Yes. Okay, I'm actually getting somewhere this time. Yeah! I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually doing... Oh. Okay, this looks awkward. Whoa. How have I not died yet? This is ridiculous. Let's see if we get the timing down here. Oh, shit, I'm actually, yeah, I'm MLG in this shit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, please to, yes! Yeah, I beat it! I beat the game! Oh, I mean, I know I'm feeling a bit ecstatic here, but, yeah, I, I actually played it. I remember I tried playing this several times before, and I just, I keep being stuck, and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Uh... I guess this game is really short, because that was, yeah, I guess that was it, because it just reset. But, uh, yeah, that was a dog tail, I guess. Uh, how do I quit out of this? Start select. Okay, uh, cannot quit out of this. Or, let me, oh, okay, I guess you have to, okay, that's weird, so you have to go into the game and then press start select to quit. But there we go, I mean, that was... Yeah, that was 11 Volume 2, or, you know, Disc 11 Volume 2, or whatever you want to call it. Also known as Eurodemo 28, uh, outside the UK, which makes more sense, because God knows why the UK discs use that, like, Volume 2 numbering. Makes no sense, but whatever. Anyway, uh, it's a pretty good disc, actually. I, I quite like this one. But, um, I mean, Courier Crisis was weird. 
kind of confusing. I wasn't really sure what to do. It kind of looks like Crazy Taxi, but a lot more hectic, I guess. Frogger is probably probably a pretty decent game. Uh, GTA, well, you should all know what GTA is like. It's a really good game. Obviously, it's not as good as the you know the sequels, but it's you know the series had to start somewhere, and it started pretty well, I think. So I quite like this one. Pound of Running Two is quite good, but I wish I got to play as Nikki. Power Soccer 2 is absolute shite, but they a football game, so what do you expect? And Dogtail, well, it plays kind of stiffly, but well, I managed to beat it, so that's something at least. And yes, I will see you later, people. See you.